Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and I am here to react to the Watch Dogs 2 Hello World trailer. And, well, it's more of a teaser, but... So, you know what, uh, I'll, I'll tell you everything I have to say beforehand after this, so let's just go ahead and watch it. My speakers weren't on. Okay. Well, it is a teaser, but, um, it is just a teaser, so I can't be mad at it. But uh, what I can say is everything that I I hated the last watch the, the first Watch Dogs and here's the thing the graphics the graphical downgrade issue that was just one symptom of the overall larger picture for how I felt about the game because yes. While Ubisoft is trying to do better now, I still have this grudge against them, but I'm willing. It's hard to let the past stay in the past, but I my history with Ubisoft is a rather rough one, because um, uh, it all started with Assassin's Creed 3, and I was in so much denial saying I loved it, and at the time, I even said that Watch Dogs, I'm sorry, Assassin's Creed 3 was the best game I'd ever played, and uh, I very much regret making the videos of me saying those things, because looking at, back at it now, it just makes me cringe, uh, because I was in denial, and I didn't see it for what it truly was, and a lot of those things carried on to several other Ubisoft games, such as... such as Black Flag, which to me, it felt like it was very different, but for me, I was still burned by Assassin's Creed 3 to the, to the point where I didn't even care anymore, and then the numerous massive delays hitting it. You think that those delays would have made the game better, but really, it just ended up being a very boring, plain, old, flat, bland, shell of what could have been a potentially amazing new IP. However, I like you know, to think that Watch Dogs can hopefully be like the first Assassin's Creed, where the first one was very rough, very rocky, uh, just very frustrating to get through. And uh, so hopefully, but then Assassin's Creed 2 ended up being amazing. So I'm hoping Watch Dogs 2 can end up being similar to Assassin's Creed 2, where the first one was very rough, but maybe, maybe, just maybe, the second one, now that they have, they already established the concept, they've had time, they already had one game to work things out, maybe now that they're more familiar with their concept, maybe they have more confidence now, maybe now they can actually make this second one better, because I hated the characters in the first game, everyone, well, Aiden Pierce. Uh, a wet fart had more of a personality than Aiden Pierce ever did. I want better characters, I want better story, I want better fucking gameplay instead of this bland, open world, generic bullshit trying to come up with GTA. I just want them to flesh out their vision and make it and make the execution be a hell of a lot better. That's what I wish for every sequel, and that's what I'm hoping can happen with this. Because uh, Ubisoft has a tendency for all for me, a lot of their, especially with Far Cry, 
a lot of their games just tend to feel the same, like the whole open world aspect. You have to climb a part of the map or constantly do this climb a tower, or in this case, hack a server to unlock parts of the map. That is just... I, I hated that, and it, but I guess the, for me the final straw that broke the camel's back is there was a lot of things that happened in, the, in Assassin's Creed where you have to tail someone, and if you get caught at least once, you get back sent back all the way from the very beginning of that mission, and I found that to be so frustrating. And same thing with Watch Dogs, you did the exact same thing. You have to follow someone. If they catch you, you had to... Uh, and it's just so weird. Why do you have to tail someone when you are using fucking technology? You're hacking. Well, couldn't you just, like, track them through security cameras? And I don't know. But here's the thing. EA has a, new has a new CEO in the form of Andrew Wilson, who used to headline EA Sports. But a lot of the new things coming out of EA recently, with the whole Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, the Respawn working, working on Star Wars, Battlefield 1... All of this stuff shows signs of a bright future. Maybe. Well, but of course, you know, Eve Gimo, I mean, his family, I mean, he is the founder or one of the co-founders of Ubisoft. So it's not like he's going to be leaving anytime soon. So we just have to stick by him and maybe they can pull their heads out of their asses and maybe give us games to actually look forward to where the game designs don't feel like a bunch of copy and pasted mechanics that tend to get very old and tired very quickly. I hope they can try to change some things around and make us actually excited for Watch Dogs 2, but I, we, I don't know. Uh, they're going to have a live stream, which I find very interesting that they're doing a live stream on this way before uh, E3 even happens. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, all speculation on my half, but all I can do is hope that they don't fuck things up and hope that they don't uh, piss me off again. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time, um, and I'll be here to, to talk about the Watch Dogs 2 um, live stream whenever that happens. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.